Well, hello everyone and Merry Christmas. Yes, it's that time of year again. We are currently here at my grandmother's house and we're starting our decorations. Now, if you watched last year's house tour, I'll link it down below if you didn't. We're basically doing the same things this year, but adding a few things here and there, making it a little bit better. But this year, we're gonna focus in on the family room. Yes, we are gonna be getting all brand new stuff. And my grandmother has no idea that I'm doing all of this. So we're gonna surprise her. So with all that being said, we need to hop into the car. We need to take a little field trip and let's go shopping. Come on. All right, so the first stop that we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to a place called Ernest Flowers and Design. He has some of the most beautiful pieces that you can't get anywhere else, like a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby. So that's where we're gonna go first. Excuse us. All right, so we're here. Quiet down, truck. Oh, hey, girl. Hi, how are ya? Congratulations. All right, let's go up inside and let's start shopping. Get this upside down Christmas tree, you guys. Oh my God, do you think Nana would freak out if I did an upside down Christmas tree coming from the ceiling? <laughs> oh my God, definitely gonna do that one Christmas, definitely. We're filming for YouTube, say hey. Hi. <laughs> this is Margo. She was a teacher at East Carter where I went to school. We're picking this Santa Claus up. Isn't he fabulous? He's gorgeous. Yes, I need the whole thing. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. And this little guy. Look how cute he oh, is. Well, I was just looking at Ribbon. Marshall. Yes. Marshall, you should be. You should be. Margo, I need all of this stuff, but it's, it's expensive. I know. I Look at those. Are they not adorable? They're so cute. And on our back porch, we do a lot of the red and black plaid. So he'll be perfect. What, uh, at your grandmama's? Yeah. Well, yeah, she's got that and you can make a bow for your wreath. Exactly. Yeah, and, yes. even, and even his, I found some polka dots. I don't like it anyway. All right, I'm gonna stop touching. <laughs> Good Bye. seeing Happy you. Happy Thanksgiving, Bye. Guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yes, so I have a question. Sure. How much is the little elf right there hanging? $49.95. Okay, I would like one of those. And then also with the Santa Claus, is, does he come boxed up or how, how would we do that? Um, would it be okay? I guess I can just shove the Santa in my car. <laughs> oh, yeah, put him in front seat. Yeah. <laughs> kind of looks you get riding that. Yes, absolutely. We'll just yeah. shove him in there. <laughs> Come on, Santa. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the struggle. Also, after you get that all for me, I'm gonna need some of these, the candy cane like dripping like things. Oh, okay. Hanging? Sure. Yeah, they're fabulous. Well, you can win all that. You yeah, we, yes. And we're going to film it for YouTube. I'm like Good. completely transforming my grandmother's home. So we're excited. Yeah. I bet. It yeah. looks like it. <laughs> Let's figure out the grand total. With tax, is 224.92. Perfect. You want to walk around some more? Nope. <laughs> That'll be all for today. All right, well, we've packed Santa Claus in the car. We've got to drop off one load, but we've got a lot more shopping to do. I'm low-key freaking out, and it's starting to rain. Just our luck. Oh, hell no. Wait your turn, sweetie. Okay, so now we're at Hobby Lobby, and we have to be a little bit discreet because I don't think we're allowed to film in here, but we've got a lot to get and no time. All right, I need to find navy ornaments, navy blue balls. <laughs> Here's some right here. Oh my God. Put it in the cart. I'm gonna be broke. <laughs> Freaking out. All right, let's check out. All right, our stop to Hobby Lobby was a success. I broke the bank, but it's okay. We got a couple of more places to go, so let's continue. Okay, am I missing 
something here? I need a traditional Christmas plaid ribbon. And no one, no one seems to care. No one seems to care. Like, where is it? Oh my God, like. They have this. This ain't gonna work, sweetie. I need um, a lot of picks to add to the Christmas tree. Marshall breaking Oh my god. Me. The struggle is real. I need a Starbucks right now. <sighs> okay, we're making the most important stop of the day, which is Starbucks, because um, we're dying. We're wasting away. We need something in our stomach. Oh my god, is she talking? Hi, yes. I would like a tall um, iced vanilla latte. Yeah, tall iced vanilla latte. Anything else for you today? That's all. Four dollars even, hun. Thank you. Four dollars even, Morgan. Cough it up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But for real. Well, hello again, everyone. We are back at the house. It's been a couple of days. We're done shopping, got all the items. And now it is officially time to start decorating our family room. My grandmother has no idea this is going on. I'm excited to see her reaction. A little nervous. We don't know how that's going to go. Um, but nonetheless, it is time to start decorating. So let's begin. All right, so this is our family room. It's a little empty at the moment, but you know why. It's because we're getting ready to start our transformation. We've already got the tree up. Just got it up. Take a look. We've never had a tree in here. And it is crazy to me because this is our family room. This is where we spend all of our time and we've never had a tree in here. So I changed that up real quick and um, we've got a lot going on. First of all, we got our built-in painted this year. Um, it looks so much better. It goes along with all the rest of our furniture. And before we start decorating, I just have to mention one little thing, okay? So number one, I love Christmas decorating. I got it from my mother and my grandmother, but I have to mention her. If you've never heard of Rebecca Robeson, I will put her link down below. She is absolutely incredible. She's an interior designer currently based in San Diego, California, and her Christmas decorating videos are out of this world, and I've learned so much from her. So, Rebecca, if you're watching this, Hi, me and my grandmother, we love you. So, with all of that being said, I think I'm done rambling and it is officially time to start transforming this room. Let's go. Step number one when doing your Christmas tree, fluff the tree. Most people don't know that you have to fluff the tree because it's been in storage for a whole year and when you bend each branch and straighten it out, it's gonna make the tree look more realistic and like an actual tree. So, yeah, and we're actually lucky here because this tree looks very realistic, so it doesn't need a lot of shaping up except for deep inside the tree. Um, the top needs work, but um, I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and so you won't uh, be bored to death. All right, step number two, light the tree. I've even added some of these fun like um, bulb lights up in it. What I like to do, and this is another thing that I learned from Rebecca, is I like to add a strand of twinkle lights down the center of the tree, just to the center, just to create a little bit more magic and a little bit more movement to the tree. Um, you can get these from Hobby Lobby or Amazon. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, we've got all of our lights on except for one more set of lights. Now, I special ordered these. I've never done anything like this on a Christmas tree, but I'm so excited. So these are little individual um, candles that you can clip onto the tips of the Christmas tree. Um, back in the day, they actually used to do this to their trees. They used to put real candles on their Christmas trees, but um, we're not gonna do real because uh, 
I don't want to burn my grandmother's house down, but um, we are going to use these. I'm very excited. We've never, I've never done anything like this, so that's going to be next. Alright, so our tree is officially all lit up. We've got all the lights on it. The candles look amazing on the tree. I'm so shocked. Like, I've never done that before. Um, I think it looks incredible, especially with our village. You'll see it in the walkthrough. But the next step after you light your tree is to add all of your picks. I got all of this from Michael's this year, and now we're going to add it and cut it up and add it to the tree. So that's next. Here we go. Got it. All right, you guys, it's lit. We've got our picks. Everything's good to go. The next step, I think we're on step like four or five. I'm not sure I lost count at this point. We're gonna add ribbon. All right, I've got a navy blue, a burgundy, a cream, and I've also got a plaid. So let's get to twining. officially over it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, all right. So it's been a long day. We've got the tree up. We've got it lit. We've got our picks. We've got our ribbons. Now you're probably wondering, what's the next step, Marshall? So the next step when doing your Christmas tree would be to do your tree topper. Now you can get really creative when it comes to tree toppers. There's endless possibilities of what you can do with a tree topper. This year I have decided to do something different. I'm going to do a reindeer as our tree topper for this tree. Here he is right here. Now listen. <laughs> and these are the antlers that come with it. Now I ordered this guy right here off of Amazon. Perks of ordering online. Um, he's a little bigger than what I thought he was going to be but another challenge that we've got to somehow uh, make work. So that's the next step. So now I've just got to say a quick prayer and get on a ladder and use a ton of wire to get Mr. Rudolph here up on that tree. So wish me luck. Here we go. to start hanging up the ornaments as you can see we have a plethora to choose from down here now they're perfect because they're in our color scheme the overall look for this room we are going very old traditional Christmas very nostalgic if you will so now all I got to do is start hanging so let's go all right the first ornament is about to go on the <laughs> let me see. <laughs> All right, the first ornament is going on. You see this right here? Joy and peace. This is what I need in my life. This Christmas decorating is becoming a pain in the ass. <laughs> All right, everyone, I have officially got all of the balls onto the tree. Now, I'm a little bored. I'm sick of balls. <laughs> so I'm now going to add some different things into the tree. I'm going to add, I think, these carolers. I think she's going to be beautiful in the tree. I mean, she's literally the exact same colors as my ornaments. And we've had these for I don't know how long. 
Um, so I'm going to add her to the tree. I have a couple of more characters. And then I'm even going to add uh, a lantern. Look at this. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And then I just added some greenery and a burgundy bow to it. And I'm going to add it to the tree. So you can add big items to your Christmas tree. Um, don't be afraid. Don't just put balls on your tree. Like add different things uh, to grab more interest. So I'm going to try sitting him in this tree. I might have to wire him, but let me just try sitting him in here. He's pretty heavy, so I'm a little worried. But where there's a will, there's a way, baby. Yeah, he's definitely going to have to be wired. Be right back. Alright everyone, it is a it's 5 a.m. in the morning. I just finished the Christmas tree. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Next time with Marshall Sharp. Now, I don't think I've even explained to you where she even is. My grandmother is up in Raleigh, North Carolina right now, visiting with um, some family that we have up there. She is officially here. She just pulled up in her car. I have a little surprise for you, Anna. Really? Yeah. Marshall.